Good day everyone, my name is Megan Steves and I will be presenting the title They Did As They Pleased, A Guide to Women Filmmakers. This marriage of a dictionary and filmmaking creates a comprehensive guide uh, to women film directors in areas of film spanning across uh, numerous representations of genres and across the globe. The purpose of a number of nonfiction books pertaining to film is to um, both entertain uh, film lovers and also to inspire and to educate uh, potential would-be uh, filmmakers or historians. And the aim of this book is to be that kind of um, inspiration for uh, potential filmmakers. Uh, hopefully with, it'll reach a large uh, Canadian audience as well because a lot of the books that um, I found um, in setting out to do this project was that while there were some books that centered on women film directors that did exist, they were rather sparse in comparison to those that focused on directors in general, but there were very few women mentioned in those books. And so the books about women film directors that I found were not accessible to me. I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and the only way I could have had access to them was to purchase them on Amazon for a rather high price. There weren't any available to me at my local libraries or my local bookstores either. Um, so there are a couple of comparable titles that I would like to mention. And that is the DK Eyewitness Companion Guide to Film. This came out in 2006, and it features um, at some part of the book, it's a compendium of film in general, but towards the back there is around 150 pages of a sort of A to Z uh, list of film directors, and it features uh, biographical information of them, uh, a picture of them, and their years active, as well as a list of must-see kind of films that um, you would want to see by that director. And the other book that I drew inspiration from is Women and Their Films by Mary G. Hurd, which also came out in 2006. And what she did um, is to um, categorize the uh, directors that she put them in um, into different genres or areas of film. And so that's what um, that really appealed to me as an idea for separating and um, distincting uh, the directors into different chapters. Between those two books, um, it culminated into an outline for a book that would be um, part encyclopedia, part dictionary, part dossier, um, that would be divided into um, six different chapters, um, with, including uh, titles such as um, independent and experimental filmmakers, uh, filmmakers from the studio age, international filmmakers, as well as one-time celebrity uh, filmmakers, uh, among others. Each woman would have their own profile similar to the DK Eyewitness Companion to film in that they would have their own profile, including biographical information, um, some information on accolades uh, to their credit, and some notes on their style of work, as well as their own list of um, essential or must-see films. In terms of selling points, it seems to be a major discussion in the film industry right now. Um, the inclusion of women in um, not just film production, um, but acting and just the industry at large, it seems to be a, a, a high topic for discussion at the moment. And in Canada in particular, this was further spurred on um, this past September at the Toronto International Film Festival with the release of a short film called 4%. Um, it talked a lot about um, the inclusion, or in this case, disclusion, of women filmmakers in the industry, uh, primarily in Hollywood, uh, at this time, and it was just a very fascinating look into that area of filmmaking. And where Canada has such a booming film industry, um, in the cities in particular of Vancouver and Halifax in Toronto, students there can really benefit um, from a guide like this um, that just mentions women's talent and shows it in such a way that you can really see their true potential if given a chance 
the book would not be preachy, it would be more factual, so that people who are looking to study women filmmakers have a book that's easily accessible to them with accessible information without having to dig online and um, make a bunch of different clicks and open a bunch of different articles just to get examples um, of films that they have seen um, that they didn't even know were directed by a woman. Whereas you have names such as Steven Spielberg and Brian De Palma and Martin Scorsese and all of these other filmmakers that you know and can just list off the top of your head. In terms of format and design specifications, this would be a 6 by 9 uh, soft cover book with French flaps. With a production of 10,000 copies, the cover price of the paperback would be $24.99 and an ebook price of $12.99. It would likely be printed on permanent uh, neutral pH paper and uh, likely digitally printed. With approximately 175 entries, the book would be around 350 pages long. In terms of a release date, we would want to aim for a March, late March, um, just at the beginning of spring 2018 release. And the reason for this is because um, it would be great to have the book out there and available for people just as we're going into the film festival season for that year going into 2019 as well because um, in we could take advantage that way of um, people who are about to attend such film festivals as the Tribeca Film Festival in April and the Cannes Film Festival in May, a particularly prestigious festival. And then in Canada, we will have the um, Toronto International Film Festival, as mentioned earlier in September, as well as the Atlantic Film Festival in that month as well. Well, I think it will be great to have uh, the book in chain stores, um, such as for us in Canada chapters. Um, I think there will be a great advantage to having it featured in independent bookstores, and one in particular I can think of is the um, bookstore and gift shop that the Toronto International Film Festival has um, in its light box uh, building. It could definitely be prominently featured there, and with all of the people coming in and wanting to pick up a souvenir, that could be a great thing. And um, the author will be living in uh, Toronto at that time and can make local appearances. In terms of endorsement, um, I know of a uh, rather prominent pop culture author, Sam Maggs, who um, has written books such as The Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy, a handbook for girl geeks, as well as Wonder Women, 25 Innovators, Inventors, and Trailblazers Who Changed History would also be somebody who would be likely to blurb my book or endorse it in some way. It is my belief that this book can be very successful for a wide range of um, a nonfiction audience of film lovers and potential filmmakers. Thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation today and I thank you in advance for your consideration. Have a nice day.